This is a video guide on how to operate the LAN Expert 80 and 85. There are three configurations for connecting the LAN Expert. First is single ended mode, where the LAN Expert uses only one port to connect to the switch router on your network. This is for a snapshot of the whole connected network. Second is inline mode, where the LAN Expert is connected to a switch or router in one port. Or, and a computer or another switch on the other port. This is to find an issue with a specific portion or computer on your network. Lastly is independent mode where each port of the LAN expert is connected to two different ports on the network. In this configuration each port on the LAN expert is assigned its own MAC and IP address. This configuration is mostly used for generating traffic from one port to the other using RFC 2544 stress test to stress the connected network. Turn on the unit by holding the yellow button. The welcome screen displays for a few seconds. As you can tell, this is a LAN Expert 85, but the LAN Expert 80 works exactly the same way. Next, the home screen will appear. If you are using a DHCP server and connected in single ended mode, by using the patch cord provided, then there is no need to change settings under setup, and factory default can be used. Press the Analyze Network to connect to your network. As the LAN expert is linking, it will connect as port 2 is connected to 1 gig, and you will see your partner's capabilities in speed, and in the signal is master as in partner. You can either relink or you can press the down arrow and you can see the port 2's MAC address, IP address it was assigned, subnet, gateway, DHCP, and the lease time. You can press the port info button if your uh, switch is able to have LLDP or CDP frames, which is Link Layer Discover Protocol or C Cisco Discover Protocol. As you can tell, this switch is not one of those. The expert mode shows any problems with your network. As you can see, we have some undersized frames, but nothing significant. Next we have vitals. Vitals shows the elapsed time, time unlinked, max frame size, good and bad frames. Pressing and opening up uh, to see the good frames in unicast, multicast, and broadcast. As you can see, this is in list format. You can change it to chart format if you are a more visual person. Going next to our protocols to see what protocols are connected to the uh, LAN expert and on your network. You can press the IPv4 to open up more of our different protocols. You can see our DHCP, MBT, or you can also look at our IV, IPv6. You can see all the frames that are collected and also in chart format. You can change the total time to average per second, per second, per 10 seconds, and per minute. Going back to our total. Going next to our top talkers which shows the uh, top talkers on your network. This shows the transmitted frames and the bandwidth it is taking up per each uh, switch, computer, or server. Pressing the right arrow, we can go to devices and see the different devices on the network. We have servers, VOIP devices, routers, printers, and others. Usually others are going to be your computers. Opening up, your others, you can see the MAC address, IP address, and the transmitted and received frames. Going in and pressing Discover will send out a discovery protocol on your network to get more information. You can see the name appeared. Bringing it down, you can see more information from the MAC address, IP address, and the name. Changing it to Ping, you can ping the gateway by pressing Start. It will show your MAC address, the round trip time in min, average, and max, and how many attempted and lost. If you want to see the trace route to that 
um, gateway. It only has one round trip or only one hop. You can either return back and do another ping or go on to our traffic generate. Our traffic generate will set, start sending traffic onto your network to your specific IP address. You can change the size, average rate, and then the frames transmitted and how many remaining seconds. Next we have our security protocol. We have no fr uh, frames of security on uh, this network. Email address, if you're in line in between a computer and a network, you will be able to see uh, email emails going through, but not this specific, specific email. For VOIP, we are able to see all the devices on the network. Next, we have frame capture. Pressing the start button, you can start capturing frames on the network. So you can select the time to open it up to see more information, which is summary mode, which is source, destination, and your type of protocol it is. Coming to remote access, remote access shows you the LAN expert IP address and see if there's any UDP sessions, which is our LAN expert council application, or uh, received pings. When you save onto the um, USB drive, which is below, or on from the network, you can save it as capture, which is the frame capture, or detector mode. So we will do an internal save one for our capture mode, and we will also do a detector mode internal save in two.